what we've done with the Aero is go for three different rigs uh, to suit different sizes of people in different conditions. There's no hard and fast rule as to you're this much weight, you need to sail with this sail. So we have three sails, the Aero 9, the Aero 7 and the Aero 5. But they're all generically very similar. They all have a square head. They're all designed to work on the same top mast, but we have a different bottom section for each. The idea being that the five will take kids from, you know, we've had 32 kilo kids sailing it in quite a lot of breeze. Uh, that will go up to about 55 kilos. The seven is 55-ish up to roughly my size, which is slightly more than it should be at the moment, 77. And the, there's an overlap on the big rig, which really goes up to Alex, development manager of RS. He's somewhere near 110. <laughs> People perceive nowadays that you must have a mylar, this, that and the other. But when you've got an unstayed carbon rig, and there's a lot of difference in bend in different conditions and different points in sailing, they're actually far better with a Dacron sail that stretches across the bias particularly and accommodates different mast bends and still keeping the same sail shape. A mylar sail is just very locked up, if you like, and you can make it quick in one conditions, but it's, it's never going to work right the way across the range. The other great thing about it is that we're, you know, size for size, we're probably a square metre more sail area than you might expect for each sail on a boat of this sort of size and width. Well, it's, you know, it's very comfortable sail upwind, and when you're sailing downwind, you've got a really electric performance because we've got a very light boat and a sail that's slightly bigger than you might expect. So in other words, it's a lot of fun. In some respects, what we've done is we've actually changed the game a little bit. We moved it on. That we've just provided something that's very easy to work and it does work. Mm -hmm.